everyone! Today we are here in Rotterdam, in the Netherlands, in the Casa das Flores, with the amazing Brazilian musician Elisabeth Fadel. We are very pleased to be here. Thank you very much for hosting us, Elisabeth. Thank you. Tell me a bit about your musical journey. Okay, so we started in Brazil. Né? Um, I'm in contact with music since I was a child. I come from a family of musicians. And yeah, I did all my studies there, classical music, Brazilian music, afterwards a bit of tango as well. And at some point when I was in my 20s, beginning of my 20s, I was wondering like how it would be to, to live abroad. And my first time in Europe, I was 19, I was fascinated. I thought, okay, maybe it's a good idea to spend some time abroad and see how, how it is. And you, you always studied piano. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes, I always studied piano, but when I was a, a child I liked other instruments as well, so I played a bit of guitar and recorder really? and drums and yeah, just for the fun, yeah. And at some point I was studying harpsichord together with piano, yeah. And my first plan was to study piano in Europe, but thanks to a festival in my city, there was a harpsichord teacher that said, why don't you study harpsichord in Europe? Because there are more chances that you can get in and not so many people play this instrument. to Holland to study here in 2010. Okay. And I'm here since then. <laughs> for many people it's a shock for the family when they decide, wow, I, I want to follow an artistic career. Yeah, there is still a bit of prejudice né, with this career. Yeah. Um, well, my, my brothers, they all play an instrument, but doesn't mean they work with music entirely, so they work with other jobs as well. They have other jobs as well. But the passion for music is really big and for my parents too. And my mom, she's a music teacher oh. for children. She works in schools. I think they, when they saw that I was really into music and I got a talent or something, uh, they thought, okay, for you it's okay to follow music, but not my other brothers. <laughs> How that worked out for you? I had some struggles in the beginning financially. But it's just because I was leaving my parents' house and I was moving to a different country where the currency is much higher than Brazil and I didn't have any scholarship in the first year. So this was a little bit difficult. But also because you are in a new country, everything is so new and nice and you are discovering so many things. Um, I guess the, the financial part is not that, it's not a big problem. When people talk about struggles, as a musician, um, I don't see so many actually. I think especially now that our generation is not so into material stuff. And, and music is more about following your heart and your feelings than having things. Of course you have to work a lot as well. And doesn't mean that you don't have any problems, you have a lot of, of struggles. But uh, I think it's super possible. You know, because I started to work very early, teaching and playing, so this I learned it when I was a teenager already. So I didn't have many problems to get jobs. And of course music is a very big field actually, so you don't work only playing, but you can also work writing arrangements or accompanying someone or composing or working in a studio or teaching so I guess music is, uh, is a very broad field.
field to to explore. So there is always some there is always space for someone that is starting this job. So you play the classical piano, the harpsichord, yeah. and also the cavaquinho. Yeah, this came later actually. <laughs> Acompanhando baixo continuo. Can we change it a little bit here in in Holland? Because I, I was planning to study classical music and work with that, but the market is so good for Brazilian music, and there are not so many Brazilian people making Brazilian music. So in the end, I started to focus more on that. I think also that's why Picabaquinho entered in my life and stayed somehow. I also I have to mention I'm working in a Brazilian music school here. So. Also, the Cavaquinho helps me to understand even more the Brazilian language and to pass that to the students here. I came to Holland to the, with the purpose to study classical, but in the end, music was mixing because I was in the conservatory playing harpsichord. At some point, I was like, okay, let's play piano, some bossa novas or whatever, gizmonte, instrumental stuff. But then, of course, this Baroque background was still there. And in the end, it started to, to mix. Né? Now I play Shore and people say it's very polyphonic the way you play Shore, it's very Baroque. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I cannot avoid the, the other music I have. And here in Holland, I must say, it's very common to mix styles. I see crossover everywhere. People are really willing to not just play one style, but they want to play other styles as well. And we have more access to this world music, let's say. Especially here in Rotterdam, I found very nice to see musicians playing Indian music or Turkish music or Cuba, and then at some point you see a concert where they mix every style together, and this is really inspiring actually, yeah, and of course changed my music as well. The experience of living abroad also made me change my relationship with music. I thought, ah, maybe people in Europe, they listen a lot of classical music. It is true, they listen a lot of classical music. You see all the festivals and the theaters. And the... But they are also very open, maybe because it's an international country, they are very open to other styles. And I saw a Brazilian music market here because people are open for that. So this also helped me to play Brazilian music abroad. So it would be nice to check what the people are listening to. In Brazil, it's a bit the opposite. Né? People listen a lot of uh, pop music and Brazilian music as well, maybe not so much classical music. So as a classical musician, what chances do you have in Brazil? Né? So you have to see also to whom you are playing. The moment that you leave to another country, you look to your country back in a different way because you are changing when you are abroad. You change. So it's impossible to see Brazilian music in the same way. I cannot see it in the same way. But actually, being abroad makes me feel more in love with Brazilian music than being there. It's a pity we Brazilians in Brazil we don't see that. But we have one of the best music in the world. I believe. <laughs>
enjoy the video, leave your like, subscribe to the channel Expat Music and follow me for the next episodes. See you soon!